This week it's a mod stravaganza as we discover more on the minigame spotlight system, catch up with the ninja team and find out what community management have planned for this bonus weekend. Next week we're introducing the new minigame spotlight system which runs in parallel with certain minigames and you'll be able to earn a new currency called Thala. Thala is gained based on the amount of time that you spend inside a minigame. For every one minute that you spend inside a spotlighted minigame, you'll gain one Thala. Otherwise, you'll gain one Thala every five minutes. There are a total of 14 different minigames which come into spotlight every three days. These include Barbarian Assault, Castle Wars and Trouble Brewing, to name a few. Players can head to Stanley Limelight, our new shopkeeper, where they can spend their Thalas on certain rewards from minigames that are in the spotlight system. There is also a tab for limited edition treasure hunt items, uh, which are only available for a short period of time. Over the years, we've introduced many different minigames. Uh, due to this, most of them don't get played as often as they should. So we're hoping that the minigame spotlight will make them a lot more active again. As the Ninja team has grown, we have taken on this extra project uh, to hopefully help with the rest of the quality of life updates that we're currently working on. So I recently joined the Ninja team. It's really exciting. There's nothing quite like working with and reading the play suggestions every single day. You have to be very agile. You constantly have to jump in and out of certain projects or certain bug fixes you're doing, which is different to what the other teams do. So we're going to be looking at a number of chat improvements. We're going to be looking at clan funnel improvements. So kind of joining clans, setting up clans, recruitment. We're going to be looking at centralizing all our various toggles and settings into one place. Uh, one of the spotlights we're working on is Artisan's Workshop, which I'm currently working on. That's making sure we're looking at ceremonial swords, barrel armor, XP rates, efficiency, that sort of thing. We're also going to be adding two new grand exchange slots for members, one for free to play. And on top of all that, we're obviously doing ninja fixes, which you can see weekly. With Rune Labs, we have the monthly criteria for larger projects, but that doesn't mean that we disregard all smaller issues. The ninja team look at these smaller stuff and where possible we will ninja them and take them and bring them into our backlogs. So the best place to look for ninja fixes is the recent game updates. We will post a patch notes every single week. Uh, there's a special section for the ninja fixes. So anything you suggest to us and we get fixed will be in there every single week. Of course there's uh, different news posts that we release every, every so often for bigger fixes, such as spotlights and projects. Of course you can look at us through uh, Twitter and Reddit. We're always on there posting information about what we're looking to do, what we're going to do, what we have done. So if you're just looking for information about ninjas, they're the best place. Having been a player for over 12 years now, it's an amazing experience to be part of the ninja team because you get to see all of the quality of life improvements that not only benefit the other people, but you get to be part of the team that actually implements those improvements as well. So being a player, you know what to look for, you know what can be improved, and I'm just happy to be here to push those updates out. Throughout May we've been running the RuneScape Road Trip, which is your chance to collect loads and loads of prizes by coming in game every day and collecting chits from JMods and also completing a list of tasks. As well as your daily road trip tasks, we have special bonus weekends that we'll be running throughout May as well. This weekend it's a Slayer and Boss weekend in which you'll be able to get 50% bonus XP uh, on Slayer and also get double drops as well on rare items. We'll also be having a ports bonus this weekend and going all the way through to the end of May uh, where you'll get 25 uh, voyages per day rather than your usual 15. Next weekend we'll be having the minigame weekend so keep an eye out for the news post on that later next week. As part of the road trip we've been doing a community road trip as well where you can win uh, real life goodies like Cooler Master gear, you can win bonds and you can win merch. All you have to do is head over to our forums where we've got all the information on how you can enter this week. We've got four different things for four different weeks, all based on our social media channels and on our forums. So if you complete all the, uh, all the tasks, you'll get codes. Submit those codes to us and enter into our prize draw to win all those goodies. So why should you come to the JMod Chit Sessions? Well, as well as getting to meet us wonderful folk, uh, you also get to meet members of the community as well. You get to make some new friends and there's also skilling nodes as well, so no XP waste. Uh, to find out more about all of these things, the community road trip, the road trip itself and also the JMod Chit Sessions, check out the RuneScape Road Trip Forum. Uh, there's a link coming up just on screen right now uh, and happy scaping. Grab your shovels and prepare to get a little bit morbid as next week we delve into RuneScape's new grave system.